Gentlemen, Joe, are you wait? Bring you guys yet again another review. This time it is of another different type of Thompson. I'm sorry. Um, I'm a big, again, Thompson nutcase. This is of not just any ordinary Thompson. This is the Model Gun Corporation or MGC plug fire cap. Model 1928E1 Thompson submachine gun. These you can only get used secondhand because the company that made these went out of business in 1994. Um, you may even spot these in your local local museums, hanging up as displays, display pieces. They were used in movies. Um, they're quite prolific in the reenacting and. Uh, collector gun world if you want to say it put it in that sort of perspective i just got it today i bought it off ebay through an auction um i've been wanting one of these for 19 years now i wanted this before i wanted an airsoft gun how's that guys uh, a dream come true after 19 years um this thing is no joke guys i mean i've had a number of airsoft and replica thompson's and all of them are good. But when I picked this thing up, I swear. I swear I thought this was the real thing. I've fired the real thing. I know what the real thing feels like. This is as close as you can get to a real 1928. Or any, any just, just any real steel Thompson submachine gun. And yes, I, I did try looking for a deactivated one. I tried looking for anything parts kits the the problem is it's not that i can't afford it it's just that they're all in europe and they will not ship it to the united states that's the problem i had trying to find a deactivated thompson and it's not and again it circles back to and it's the price is one thing but the, the export and the shipping and all the red flags i'd have to go through to get that thing in from let's just say the united kingdom to the united states would be a big hassle so I ended up resorting to looking for a used MGC or Hudson plug fire cap Thompson. I came across this one on eBay um, recently and I managed to just pick it up for a little over 500 something dollars. And I won the auction and I just picked it up today from the post office. It is a beauty, this thing. This is 13 pounds of good well replicated american steel and wood this is well, made in japan but still yet you know japanese stuff's made to a very high premium a very high quality and this gun is old but it's held up well over the decades it's at least 30 years old according to this date right here 0193 i suspect the gun was made in the 90s or it had a barrel put on in the in the 90s you can see right there, 01.93. Again, um, Model, Gun, Model Gun Corporation went out of business, so you cannot find these anywhere except for eBay. And they do come up once in a while, so check your eBay. Um, also, another place you can find them at is actually gun websites, Gun Broker, gun, Guns America. They come up for sale. Uh uh, the plug fire caps is also equally as hard to find as the gun itself. So I got to keep my eyes open for a set of plug fire caps. Uh, those are also very difficult to export from Japan to the United States. Okay, so let's delve into the replica. So nothing but steel and wood here, guys. It, it, and it feels like it. It's got the weight of it. I don't know what kind of wood. It's definitely wood. Stock. Pistol grip. Hand guard. We've got a steel barrel. You heard me right, steel. Steel barrel, steel cuts compensator, steel magazine. And yes, I, I can take a real mag too. I don't know if I'll feed from a real mag, but I've got one right here. And I've also got others, 20 round uh, real steel Thompson submachine gun mags. This is a 30 round I got. Oh, it fits wonderfully, and it gives it just a menacing look. Right out of Wind Talkers, right? So, metal selectors, 
and the functioning safety. I'll, I'll get to that in a little bit. Mag release is right here. And a steel bolt underneath. Be stock, which yes, 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 can come off. Watch. And it makes the replica. It takes this it makes the replica easy for transport. Just like the real thing. Put it back. The only airsoft company that has that function, and the replica that I can think of that has that function, just like that, is the Ares Tommy guns. Flip it over. Uh, my only complaint is are two little things. It really nuances. It's got a little wobble to it. No problem. I'd rather have the wobble in the back than in the front, but not too much. And uh, well, we're talking quality control here. Uh, the butt plate doesn't quite line up too well to the stock. And again, I guess even M good old MGC made this little problem. They use the M1A1 butt plate rather than the 1928 style butt plate with the tang on top. I'll show you what I mean. So the 1928 Thompson stock, which looks much like this. So they got everything right about it. Except for the butt plate, which I'm trying to get. You see there's a little tang that goes on top. It's part of the butt plate and it uses two different size screws. You can get it with or without the cross bolt. This one doesn't have the cross bolt, obviously or reinforcing bolt, that's what some other people call it. All right, now. they got it very spot on. Uh, lower, obviously, all steel. Upper is all steel. I mean, there's a few Allen have bolts that you can see, obviously not present on the real Colt or auto ordnance made 1928 series Tommy guns. This is model 1921, but we know right now in, in this configuration, it's a 1928A1. It's kind of weird how MGC advertised it. Okay guys, sorry, I have to do some things. This is part two. We're gonna try and make this into one video. I got my tripod out, so we got some improvements here. So yeah, full steel wood, made in Japan, um, no frills here, just really, really an awesome piece of machinery, exquisite Thompson, and steel barrel, early style, cuts compensator, the later style looks a little more like this, this is more like a 21 compensator. The 28 compensator looks like this. See how it's bigger? And I'm using the gun I used in the last video review. If you change your wandering. I was on the fence about changing it to that one, but I really don't want to drill or modify anything. Essentially ruin what is a collector's item because these MGC Tommies are collector guns in many respects. Um, got a steel charging handle, bolt assembly. Oops, 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 it's knocking the tripod a little bit. The bolt goes forward, it's loud. Let me demonstrate your safety. Let me pull this back and show you the safety. So, I that I just fired the gun, right? Put in safe. Okay, it's in safe, right? Can't pull the trigger. Can't pull the bolt. When I flick it this way. There you go. Line in rear sight. Locking the camera around again. Let me, let me bring the camera upwards. Just a hair. Here we go. Sorry. Here we go. Can't move it up and down. But it does flip up. 
This is heavy, I'm telling you right now. It's a good 12 pounds of steel and wood. Now, there's a cartouche engraved into the metal right here, denoting that it is a model gun. All MGC Tommy guns came like this. This is right here, Thompson submachine gun, caliber 45, MGC patent blowback cartridges, manufactured by MGC, Model Gun Corporation, Tokyo, Japan. The videos you find of these MGC Tommies, if you do find them on YouTube, they're all in Japan, they're all in Japanese. I've yet to see one done in English. So, am I the first American to do it? I don't know. It could be. And I know I said in the video earlier it says model 1921. They used a 1921 body and they built a 1928 A1 out of it. Either way is correct. World War II they did use 1921 Tommy guns. They eventually adapted them to the A1 furniture. And for the British they had the 28 and the 28A1 in service. Some mags, you know, that's the, this is the stock MGC 20 round magazine. It's blued as you can see, there's a sheen to it. The body is also blued steel. I may re-blue the body. We'll have to see about that. I have to buy the bluing from uh, Birchwood Casey or something. Oh man, someone can tell me what kind of wood this is. I'd like to know robust I happen to have this is a parkerized 30 round stick mag for a real Tommy gun and guess what it fits and it really gives it that classic second world war look just like you've seen in wind talkers just like you've seen in other movies oh you should also note another telltale of the 21 versus the 28 if you look at the selectors this is a little key, what I call a keyhole, right here. Different shape. You go back to the 28 and 20A1. That's I can tell you they use a 28 body, by the way. So 21 body, this is the 28. See how the selectors are different? Much much different. Similar, but slightly different. Okay, I don't know if we can get a flashlight in here. But, um... Okay, there we go. I'm just using my iPhone. So you see the bolt assembly right there, yes? Just want to open it. You see that plug this is what makes it this is what separates the boys from the men this is this is why it's not a real tommy gun okay well we're doing a part three now doing a part three <sighs> don't like being interrupted so anyway see that plug fire cap right there so your cartridge was set up there hits and engages that and then the, blow, the barrel's also plugged on the inside, so it can't be adapted to fire a real 45 caliber round. The camera nearly fell over. So if you look, right inside. Let me take the mag out, just so it's easier to manipulate. So you can get a better view. We gotta view the barrel, yes? Hold up. Okay, so I got it upside down, right? There you go, you can kind of see it right there. I gotta clean it. I'm gonna clean this gun someday. Right there. that right there the barrel is plugged on the inside 
ripped from the factory or from customs so it can only fire plug fire cap caps so like I said earlier in the video I said the removable stock comes up just like that see the mechanism butt plate again you know you can see it sticks up a little bit up here well not too bad you know with one sixteenth of an inch it's a bit long doesn't sit quite flush up here use the m1a1 butt plate which i'm, I'm glad they you know they also blued there should be it should have the 1928 butt plate with the tang on top but it's okay you know this will suffice still looks good just you know like the allen head screws that you see in certain places of the smg it's very negligible it's hardly noticeable at all well crafted replica so let's put it back there we go so it weighs about 13 pounds 14 pounds loaded and empty should weigh about 11 and a half to 12 pounds let me put the stock mag back I mean, this is, again, like I said earlier in, in the early half of the video, I tried finding the original deactivated 1928A1. The problem is getting it over to the States where I live on an island in Hawaii. Imagine that. How much hoops they're going to jump through to get it over. Not only the expense of getting a deactivated firearm, but also... The hoops I gotta jump through, all the red tape I gotta break, or whatever, to get it over halfway around the world. So I was like, forget it. No, let's look for an MGC. Maybe try my luck. And I found one on eBay. And these are getting expensive. Uh, so if you want one, I suggest, you know, hop to it right now. Don't wait, they're only gonna get more expensive. Any of them, any MGC Thompson is good, good to worthwhile to have in one's collection. I'm contemplating about it, but I may take up the original furniture. I don't know about the stock, but definitely the pistol grip and the handguard. Putting on a reproduction or maybe even a Savage Arms handguard and pistol grip if I can find one. And doing my usual stain job for the stock well <laughs> if the parts were available i'd use my other stock put it on this puppy right here and then also i have the sling for this thing the original sling it was too nice for me to keep it on this replica so i took it off and saved it it's really the sling just like the gun is so so well crafted i, I just don't want to hurt it i don't want to ruin it by happenstance, you know, if I'm out using it, even if it's on display, I don't want someone to steal it or, or, or I myself ruining it by one little slip up. But yeah, guys, I mean, that right there is the Model Gun Corporation 1928E1 Thompson. I highly recommend it. I give this a nice 10 out of 10. It'd be, I'd give it an 11 or 12 out of 10 if I could find the plug fire caps. But um, that's another endeavor all within itself. Thanks again. Stay tuned for more videos.